courts uh, don't always aren't always real supportive with us when it comes to budget time, right? We all talk about the same thing. However, just under the surface is what everybody really wants to talk about. Hey, those hats, where do you get those? Yeah, that looks really, really sharp. That looks really, really cool. We'd love to get those here in our, in our we'd love to get those in Iowa, but you know, people think they look intimidating. People think they don't look, we're, you know, we're not cowboys, we're cops. And it's, it's interesting to see, but I can tell you right now, when I told them that I was sitting and talking to, saying, hey, when I get back, on the day we get back, uh, we're doing a hat ceremony. What's that? Well, we present our deputies with their first uh, Stetson right before graduation. They all thought it was the coolest thing ever. So I can guarantee you, tomorrow, across this country, hat ceremonies are being planned as we speak in other sheriff's offices because they just thought it was the coolest thing that they'd ever seen. You know, during the week, of course, as well, we, we had dinners catered, you know, and, and so at one night, I'm at the, uh, the carving station, right? The gentleman's carving roast beef for me. And he's talking to me in Spanish. I, I'm talking to him in Spanish, asking him if, if, the, if the frijoles were good, right? Because I'm from Texas, and, you know, we're pretty particular about our frijoles, right? And he answers me back in Spanish, but I can tell he's not Mexican-American. He's from, he's from another country. I can tell by his accent that he's not Mexican-American. And he starts talking to me, and he starts asking me in Spanish, ¿Y, y quiénes son ustedes? Pues somos los chelibes del, del todo el país. You know, he asked me who, who we are, and I said, well, we're the sheriffs from all over the country. And he looks at me and he goes, Pero usted es de Texas, no? <laughs> sí, como sabes? <laughs> and he points to my hat. He knew exactly where I was from. He knew exactly what I was all about because of the hat. And it was, it was kind of my chest swelled with pride. And I went back to the, to the table and I told all the other Texas sheriffs, hey, this guy knocked me off as a Texas sheriff just based upon the hat that I was wearing. I thought it was the coolest thing. Yesterday, when we pulled up at the Santa Barbara airport, Tiny little airport, right? Um, and I walk up to the ticket counter, and the lady looks at me and goes, heading back to Texas today? Uh, yes, ma'am, I am. I figured you're here for the sheriff's conference, and I figured you're from Texas. And so, guys, I say this to say, that no matter where we go, no matter what we do, people recognize this as being a Texas sheriff's deputy thing. Okay, there's a reason that the deputies right now that are walking downtown on the Riverwalk, helping out with with uh, you know, protecting our tourist population down there. They're wearing these, and they're very, very approachable. They spend a whole lot of time taking pictures with tourists because of these. So not only is it a protective thing for us, I mean, there's a practical reason that we wear these. Gosh, I was reminded of that when I got off the plane last night and went from nice, cool California to, oh my gosh, it's so freaking hot, I can't breathe. There's a reason that we wear these things, guys. But also, it, it, it puts us out there as a beacon for the rest of the world to see, and for the, certainly the rest of the country to emulate. Guys, so I want y'all to know that, that as we prepare for tomorrow, earn not given, right? Earn yes, not given. Um, as we prepare for tomorrow, I want you to, to, to take, all, take all of this in. Enjoy each other's company, because again, being that we're such a big agency, Y'all may not see each other for the next couple of years because we're going to be on different shifts, working all over the place, right? Some of you may be saying, good rinse, I can't stand this dude. I've been sitting next to him for a month or for several months now, right? But I want you to realize, though, that you're going to take your place into this agency. And I want to know, I want you to figure out what that needs to look like. But also, you're going to take your place in law enforcement within the country. And you're also going to take your place within history of Bear County. Since 1731, we have protected these streets. 1731, guys. Texas wasn't even Texas yet. The U.S. wasn't even the U.S. yet. But the Bear County Sheriff's Office was already standing proud, standing tall. Y'all are now a part of that history. And this Stetson right here should serve as a constant reminder to you. So wear it with pride. Wear it with honor. But continue to wear it. Remember what I told you this morning. Before you walk away from what I think is the best decision you've ever made, remember this feeling right now as your significant others put that hat on your head and, and you stood a little taller. I want you to remember that feeling and spend the rest of your career trying to recapture just a little bit of it, okay? Congratulations once again, and we'll see you all tomorrow for that badge. Thank you, guys.